For the longest time, I've been wanting to build one of these mobile YouTube studios for content creation, for YouTube, for TikTok, for Reels, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. How's it going guys? My name is Andre. I'm a photographer videographer based out of Edmonton, Alberta. And today we're gonna to be building one little mobile studio so you can also take your content creation to the next level. So without further ado, let's start building this damn thing. We're gonna go over things bit by bit. First thing we're gonna start off is with the stand. And I've already got it pre-built. It is right here, it looks a little bit shorter. This is the Strobe Pro mobile stand, video stand. It actually comes with two pistol grips, which is why we have it. Um, I've pre-built it, I've put the wheels on it, just so you guys don't have to watch me do that, but I will explain to you guys a few things. So the stand itself comes with an extra piece, and this is great here in my studio. However, my doors are just regular size. So the moment I add this over on top, it, it's, way taller than me, it's about nine feet even, and it's almost just too tall for the purposes. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm doing just to keep it even more mobile friendly. This is fantastic if I'm planning on doing certain things in the studio and I just need more height. Okay, so the Strobe Pro package comes with two pistol grips and I'm gonna be installing both of these. So first I'm gonna be putting this one over, facing on my right just enough to get in, give it a little squeeze and then fits right in there. I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. And then I'm gonna be putting the second one right over top. Just enough so I can have both these right here and I can even show you that I can pick it up, move it around just from the grips alone. So that's pretty sweet. Now let's just keep on building onto our stand. The nice part about these pistol grips is that you can also rotate them whenever you need. Okay, so up next, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit unconventional. You can also do this with a C-stand. If you don't wanna buy this stand, add some wheels to it and then you can build on top of that. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding a boom arm from an old C-stand that I had to one side, just so I can get my light a little bit higher than where these pistol grips already are. So this right here is my boom arm. I am just gonna be installing it over to this side. I'm gonna find out where that spigot is and just get that installed right on top. All right, so now I've got my boom arm mounted right here, just so you guys can also see, it's just hanging out over on the right side. And now I've got this because what it allows me to do is really extend to the desired height that I want. So I can make this just as tall as the stand would have normally been without having to move too many things and still maintaining it fairly mobile and very easy to move around, just so you can get exactly what you're after. Um, up next, I'm just gonna be installing the light on top of this guy that I want. And the light is very expensive. You don't need to go for the same one that I'm going with. Um, the reason I have is just because it is very, very, very small footprint and lightweight. So right here, I've got the Strobe Pro Flex F150 panel. This light is ridiculously expensive, but very, very bright. So whatever settings we're gonna be using our camera at, this will be able to tackle anything. So we can just mount this up. And the reason I have it is because I can add diffusion panel to this and look how thin it is. It is incredibly thin. And I can also power it with additional batteries, external batteries, so I don't have to worry about always having to plug things in. So let's get this installed. All right, pull the cable over on this side. All right, and just to showcase something about the light itself, the power pack that's connected has this nice little hook that I can actually just attach anywhere here and hide more of it or attach it realistically anywhere just so I can get some of the cables off the ground. Now I've got just the one single power cord if I wanna use this at full power without any batteries. And the beauty of it, it's on a boom, so I can raise it, adjust it, angle it, whichever way I want, that is gonna make it ideal 
for my setup. So next on our stand, I wanna make sure that we can actually attach our camera. So I've got over here just a little ball head from one of my older tripods. And I've also got an L bracket. The L bracket is because then this way I can make it really easy to switch from horizontal to vertical video. All the links will be down in the description below so you can check them out too. Nicely spin our ball head on here. And install the L bracket and we are in business for having our camera installed. And for the sake of things, let's actually just install the camera right now. For this, I'm gonna be using my Sony a7 III. Now, realistically, this is everything you need. You attach a microphone, a wireless lavalier like I'm already wearing. You can attach a shotgun mic to your camera and that's pretty much all you need. However, with the stand, we can actually take it a step further. So we might as well just do that. So if you're like me and you're using a Sony a7 III, so it doesn't really have the flip out screen, it's kind of hard to make sure you have your composition right, your setting, that and everything looks good. So I'm actually gonna be attaching an external monitor to this one. And I'm gonna be using the Ninja on a super clamp with an extension arm. Our stand actually has some really nice grooves over on the side that we can just mount directly to that. Attach there. And just start tightening. Make sure it's nice and snug and then adjust as you see fit. Now we've got the external monitor in there as well. Now if you want to take it up even further and you want to see beyond just seeing yourself, you want to get some better audio, we can also attach an external recorder so we can attach a better microphone. You can also boom a shotgun mic and just get a little bit closer to your face, uh, but sometimes I prefer the setup. So depending on the microphone that you're using, I've got the Zoom H4n that I'm going to be attaching with the small rig, small, super tiny clamp, exactly on the ridges except we're gonna be mounting it over on this side because it is just a little bit smaller. And those grooves are really coming in handy for us to just tighten this in there. Now it's as simple as just mounting this up. And like I said, for certain setups, I do want a slightly different microphone. So I will be using the pod mic just for demonstration purposes because I think it looks, it just looks a little bit more professional. So I've got it connected. I can bring it down over here and just keep talking to you guys. All right. So now behind me, we have the entire setup ready. So you guys can actually check it out and see how well this looks. So up here, we do have the strobe pro panel and it's very bright. This is actually a 10% brightness camera stand right over here. You can actually, I've got it on with the Ninja. So you can check me out, see me in there as well. Our audio recorder right there. And look how simple that is. Other than your major investment of the lens, the light and the stand, everything else can kind of be done on your own as a DIY version. So here you guys have it. This is my 2024 content creation setup for YouTube, for TikTok, for Instagram, Instagram Reels, for anything creative. This is what I built. So like I said, other than the camera that you need and the light stand, this is a very, very, very budget friendly setup without having to go the extra mile like I have for certain aspects. The whole goal of building this was to just improve productivity increase efficiency and be able to just create content faster without having to worry every single time about setting up. Thank you guys for watching and if there's anything, anything that you guys wanna see from this channel, do let me know down in the description below and make sure you guys check out the links in the description as well. Thanks so much, until the next one.